Randy Hauser definitely knows how country feels. I think it feels pretty good for him, considering that song hit number one on the country charts. We had a chance to catch up with Randy and writers Wendell Mobley and Vicki McGeehee at a party downtown to celebrate that song's success. Here's Kelly with more. I'm here with the co-writers, Mr. Wendell Mobley and Vicki McGeehee. They are no strangers to number ones. Congratulations. We're missing Neil Thrasher. Yeah, Neil's, Neil's on his way, I think, yeah. But you guys taught us how country feels. So, I mean, who came up with that title, How Country Feels? Well, I'm not sure about the title. We know how it started. It started with Vicki's opening line, which I think she got from, an, from a flight from New York, uh, right? Well, I was flying from New York to Nashville, and I was sitting next to a lady who said, where are you from? I said, Nashville, and she said, isn't that in the country? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, and she goes, I've never, like, touched a cow or walked through a green field or four-wheeled or any of that stuff, and I was sitting there thinking, just thinking about it, like, who has never felt yeah. that oh. and when I was looking out the windows we were taking off I was looking out over New York and it was it looked so cold and so asphalt and concrete and so those first couple of lines came out and it was only two lines it was just the you know you were, I was raising that you were at raising an asphalt farm never heard a rooster crow and and that was seven years ago yeah and wow. it's it took seven years to find two people that could two actually rednecks. get that <laughs> and run with it. So you walked in the room, had the first opening lines. Thank God you sat beside that lady on a plane and she didn't know how country feels and, and you were able to go there. Well, and at the time I didn't get it either. I just thought I got to write this because it was just something I saw and I wrote it down and it, like I said, it stayed with me for seven years. Yay. And when I said it to them, I had said it three or four times, other writing, and nobody got it. Like, whatever, okay, let's move on. Let's find a better idea, whatever. And they got it and ran with it and had this incredible, that da da da. That Neil and Wendell thing. They yeah. come with those, like, genius melodies Absolutely. that make everybody lots of money and lots of hits. We listened to a lot of ACDC when we were younger. Yeah, they that shot helps. me in a room. I mean, yeah. they're unbelievable. Yeah, most of their co-write was, like, I think it was like maybe four hours of laughing, laughing and about an hour of writing. <laughs> yeah. We are celebrating a number one here today with Randy Hauser. I do believe it. I'm so happy for you. Oh, and there's that laugh. <laughs> I love this guy. Well, you know what? A number one today. It's yeah. gonna come pretty easy. Now you've worked many, many years to get here. Have one of the best voices in country music. How's it feel today? Is it all that you, you thought? I mean, I, it's still that that time period where I hadn't really it's slowing down to think about things has been has been tough. But you know, this is a huge day, and and it's. For me, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, the culmination of a lot of nights of playing hockey talks and getting beer cans through, thrown at me and bar fights and all that stuff through the years. It, it's just crazy, and I'm very, very excited about it, not only for me, but for the songwriters, all the, these songwriter buddies of mine that are out here that wrote this song, How Country Feels, is an incredible song, and, and uh um, and for, for my record label, Stony Creek, who they worked their butts off to make this thing happen the way it has and never gave up on it, and, and, and it's just been amazing. So it's, I'm very, 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 very proud to, to celebrate this day with them, not just for me, for, for them. So it takes a full team, and you're very happy where you are. Yes, I am. It, it, it takes an army to get these get these songs to a number one song. I mean, and, and you, to get a song to the point where people can decide whether they love it or not is, is, is tough. And so I'm very proud of my team. I really am. I'm so happy for him. Tell this story because I think I overheard something about you didn't even know he had recorded it or you got to hear him playing live. I, I was down here last year for CRS and Randy had called me and said, hey, come on down. Um, uh, we're going to be playing here and Randy's a good friend of mine. And he, I was, they had a seat for me. I uh, set, set up front with um, a few of the Magic Mustang girls and um, he started playing it and I kept thinking, that sounds familiar. And then one of my friends said, that's your song. And I was like, oh, my God. I, fr I started to cry. I love that. It, t it was so cool the way he sang it. And I was so shocked to hear him sing it. And, that it and then the next thing we knew, it was the single, which was shocking, too. And then it was, I kept saying, I'm not watching it up the charts. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. I didn't want to know. And then here we are. Here we are. Let me show you. Now, 
your little boy Wes. I heard he recognized your voice for the first time. He did, out of the he did for the first time two days two days ago, uh, riding in the truck. And how country feels? This song came on the radio, and, and he goes, "Dad, Dad." Oh, <laughs> so nice. that's a, that's the biggest award, yeah. It's time for another tea tiny little break, but we've got lots more ahead right here on Inside Music Row. We'll catch up with Colt Ford when we come back. <laughs> 